Welcome back, Theme Park Wizard. And today, I'm back with a new Halloween Horror Nights rumor update in terms of the mazes for Universal Studios Hollywood. If you guys are looking for my weekly Halloween Horror Nights update, construction update, that'll be coming out probably on Wednesday, so stay tuned for that. And my Super Nintendo World construction update, I'll link on the top right corner. But here's the updated Halloween Horror Nights spec map for, um, this just came out about 30 minutes ago, um, this morning, for Halloween, um, Halloween Horror Nights here in Hollywood. And as you see, there's eight mazes, four scare zones, four rides open, and the Jabberwockies are coming back. And we'll get to that show when I, uh, when I get down there. But let's start with some of the things that have not changed. So, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That's been rumored for a long time. That has not changed, and it's rumored to go right by the mummy. And you can see by the A right there, that's exactly where it's supposed to be, right by the mummy location. Uh, you can see in all my updates, it's ready to go. It's just about done. B is Halloween Kills, and that's the Waterworld Q. This has been bouncing around. It's usually it went from Halloween 3 to Halloween Kills to Halloween 3. I feel like it doesn't make sense to do a Halloween 3 maze considering Halloween Kills comes out literally in like September or something. So it, it's a perfect new movie tie in. So Halloween Kills makes more sense. That's what it'll most likely be. And that's again in the Waterworld queue. C has been confirmed. Um. And that is The Haunting of Hill House from Netflix. Uh, Stranger Things, of course, it used to be the Netflix maze and it was for a while, for a couple of years. Uh, unfortunately, it was based, it was, so the Stranger Things mazes were great in terms of set design, but they definitely weren't scary. So I'm hoping The Haunting of Hill House can have the same quality of the Stranger Things mazes in terms of set design and part design, but actually get some good scares in there. Um, so we'll see if Netflix's mazes do uh, well this time. The Haunting of Hill House will not be in Soundstage 29, though, where Stranger Things was for a couple of years. It'll be actually in one of the Curious George tents. One of them will be for Pandora's box, and one of them will be for The Haunting of Hill House. This was actually confirmed by John Murdy on Twitter. And John Murdy is the person who runs the event, basically is the lead designer, lead attraction, or maze designer. He obviously has the whole team, but he's the leader of the team. He confirmed, he replied to someone's comment and confirmed that the Hunting Hill House will not be in Soundstage 29. It will be in a tent, so probably Curious George Tent 1. And moving again, Curious George Tent 2 will be the Curse of Pandora's Box 2, T-O-O. -O. Um, and also says Curse of Pandora's Box here, but... Um, his rumors that this be a sequel, and hopefully, it has also seemed like I'm not sure if it was the same, it's gonna be the same size or bigger, but it isn't gonna be in the K. George tent. To people have spotted in the Halloween Horn and their own construction updates that they see some of the props from the Curse of Pandora's box from 2019 and the parking lot in the K. George parking lot or the, park, the little parking lot behind there. So, uh, that will definitely be in tent too. So, the here, short parking uh, lot mazes will be Haunting of Hill House and Pandora's Box. Those are official. And then we have um, The Walking Dead, which has been was confirmed by Universal. When the permanent attraction closed in the walkthrough location, it said Walking Dead will return in Halloween Hornets. Of course, then we have the pandemic, so it didn't return in 2020, but it's looking to be returning here. And in the same previous locations, so that's in that where it says the Hudson Gate um, area, right next to the Secret Life of Pets, which will not be open during the event, by the way. So that will be open. Hopefully, it's scarier than it was when it was a permanent attraction because it was it was almost Six Flags level in terms of scares with the the um, when it was the permanent attraction, they just didn't seem like they were trying anymore. But hopefully, now that they're back to just the seasonal thing, maybe they'll put their best effort and scare us to death with The Walking Dead. So I'm excited for that. I'm excited to give it another chance. Well, there's definitely a new rumor that has popped up 
for this is for sound stage 29 is the exorcist this is actually an old maze from a long long time ago like i think 2016 i believe but this kind of is a new rumor that popped up and it's getting gaining a lot of steam that the exorcist will be replaced uh, replacing stranger things where that was in sound stage 29 and that um it should be really fun i heard lots of mixed reviews i heard some People really like this maze uh, when it was in 2016, and some people uh, really don't like it. So I'm excited to see for it myself for the very first time. I didn't go to Hornets in 2016. I only started going in 2017, 20, about 2017 and later. So <clears throat> I have not seen this maze, so I'm very excited to experience it for the first time. Then, of course, the classic monsters mazes, those on the upper lot of the Parisian courtyard seems to be the new home of the classic monsters mage although i think last time was holidays in hell over there but there's still some classic monsters in there but it seems like there's always a classic monsters mage that was the classic monsters official maze back a, a few years back it was like one of my favorite mazes of that year so i'm really excited for the bride of Frankenstein lives coming to the parisian courtyard and the book and they finally started to paint the book they painted this it's rusty brown in the end. I'll do the Halloween Horror Nights construction update on Wednesday. Subscribe for that. And you'll be able to see that. Um, that they painted the book. They're starting to get those final details on the Parisian, Parisian Courtyard Maze. Last of the Terror Jam's back. Looks like there's... I don't know if there'll be a host of Terror. Probably there always seems to be a host of the Terror Jam. But maybe they just they just don't know, don't know it yet. So we'll go ahead and we'll say that I like Chucky was cool. Chucky was a nice host, and the clowns one, um, the clowns were hosting it. That was awesome. But yeah, who do you want to see the host be the host for the Terror Jam? Let me know in the comments below. But I'm I like the Terror Jam. Took a break last year, but it'll be nice to have it back. Um, the only thing about the Terror Jam is when you get off, the maze is so wide. I feel like it's kind of hard to be scared because um, it's not a tight, you know, claustrophobic space. It's, you're just kind of can walk almost anywhere. So it's hard for the scare actors to like, scare people. So hopefully they'll kind of rectify that, maybe make that walkways a little tighter um, than they have in the past, but probably not. Scare zones will be four of them, as confirmed on the website. We don't know what the themes or anything are, but here are the locations. Obviously, we'll have. The one at the main entrance, we'll have the one by the entrance to Potter, we'll have the one, although it'll be one by the Mummy in the lower lot, and I think that one, because that one usually wasn't there, but the Toxic Tunnel is gone, which I'm glad, because that wasn't really scary, and I feel like that was the weakest out of all the scare zones, Toxic Tunnel. So since we're not going to the Metro sets this year, looks like the, the scare zone will be moved from the toxic tunnel right to where mummy is which is pretty cool right in the central area of mummy and jurassic world so it'll be pretty cool to get to south stage 29 and to get on any one of the rides in the lot you'll have to walk through a scare zone which should be awesome and there'll be the scare zone when you come out of the bride of frankenstein maze as always as and you head back towards uh towards the simpsons and all that Shows, Jabberwockies, I really wish for the shows, because the Jabberwockies are actually in Vegas as well. I think they're probably in Vegas, but they come here for the seasonal event. But I really wish that there'd be like a horror-themed show, like Knott's. Knott's Big Farm has some, Knott's Scary Farm has some great horror-themed entertainment, which is really cool. I wish Universal would kill off, uh, uh, not kill off, get rid of the Jabberwockies, and um put a horror theme show there and i mean jabberwock is they can make that since the special effects show apparently is rumored to be permanently gone they can make the jabberwockies the official daytime show and actually give them more work i guess that the if their vegas schedule can coincide with that but they can give them more work um make it a permanent show uh, since the special effects is gone and it's in the same stage but they should really give 
Halloween Horror Nights, a horror-themed, scary, terrifying show in uh, the special effects uh, stadium or show stage. But the job walkies are alright, I guess. I'll, I skipped them last year. I'll probably skip them, skip them this year. And again, the attractions that we open are Simpsons, Jurassic World, Transformers, and Mummy. Those are usually the same for their open. I still don't know why. Still don't know why that they do not open up Harry Potter. Um, even if they don't open up the attractions, they they don't open up the land. They can do especially with the that's a that'd be a perfect time to continue their dark arch projection show. I mean, they do it during the summer, or they started again a couple summers ago. Hopefully, they bring back this summer, but they can extend it all the way into the fall and Halloween, because that's a perfect show for Wizarding World of Harry Potter for Halloween Horror Nights. I mean, that's I don't know, and I, I have no under maybe it's something with Warner Brothers. I have no idea. If any of you know below, let me know in the comments below why they do not. Go ahead and open up the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I mean, they do it in Japan and potentially even Orlando, I think. I think. Um, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but do it, especially since we're such a small park here in Hollywood. Open it up. Open open it up. You can even charge more for Horror Nights. You can justify a higher price point by saying, oh, look, we have the Wizarding World open for the first time ever. And with the new Dementor show, maybe, or the Dark Art show, or you can even put a Dementor's Maze in there. The latter, uh, like, Harry Potter, you know, movies 5 through, through 8, or 7, part 1, part 2, are really dark at times. And they, they lend themselves perfect for a Halloween Horror Nights spectacular. It doesn't even have to be family friendly. Those Dementors scare some adults on the Forbidden Journey. Scares my friends who are 20 something, 30 something, and uh, it scares them. So uh, it doesn't have to be like child, like kid friendly. Okay, it's not the minions. You can open up Harry Potter, you make a lot more money, you can do a lot more, uh, be add something new and fresh to the event, and you can do just so much amazing show, just so much. You don't have to open, you don't even have to have like the wand experience and stuff open. Just have the dark arch open, the two rides open, put a maze through there. Even if you don't have anything open, just have the maze through there. That'd be pretty awesome as well. I mean, I feel like every year that's just a missed opportunity for Universal. And uh, I really hope they correct that. But sorry for my rant. That is the new Halloween Horror Night spec map. will be the final one most likely because the event starts September 9th. Coming up in just under two months. So that is nice. But yeah, what do you guys think about the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and opening that up? What do you guys think about the eight rumored mazes? Well, one of them has definitely been confirmed. Uh, basically, Pandora's box is kind of confirmed because you can see it. And the um, the props in the parking lot. But, and Walking Dead has been confirmed by Universal. So, about at least two confirmed mazes, but really three. But what do you think about these eight potential mazes coming? to the event and what do you think about my ideas for one replacing the jab walkies as show and placing it with a more horrifying um a horror type show and the ideas about the wizarding world of harry potter and there's so much potential there i might even make a separate video on that because i'm pretty adamant about it let me know in the comments below and just in general are you excited for Halloween horror nights will you be their opening night i'll try to be their opening night um it was super exciting, and nice I see hot events return to Southern California after a big absence last year. Other than that, have a fantastic day.